On prisons, ranking up is the name of the game. And when you get to the very top, you can prestige, sending your rank right back down again. But this time leaving you with some insane new abilities. Is that a bag of garbage behind me? So, in this map they included prestiging, they added this new feature that when you get to the top of your ranks, a couple people have it. Yeah, this guy's got P1. After you climb all of the ranks, there's 2,000 to go through. At the very end, you can decide, you know what, I want to do it again. <laughs> I want to do it all over again. Now, it wouldn't be my personal choice, but the thing is, they made it really worthwhile. I didn't know this for the longest time, but when you do slash prestige, there's a whole menu. Prestige unavailable, you got to be rank 1,000. And then a bunch of stats that I don't know. But look at this, there's a prestige shop. When you do prestige, you get tokens and you can direct them onto any of these. Here's the reason why I'm excited. I am a Poseidon rank, the top rank on the entire server. I command the seas to my will. And that gets me some really, really cool abilities. If you upgrade this with no rank, you know, not paying to win. Losers! You usually get a cell multiplier, basically like fortune. You get a 0.05 buff every time you do it, which is pretty solid. If you do that three times, you get 0.15. But if you're Poseidon rank, it also gets you an extra 0.25. It's so many numbers, but basically it's like more than three times better. If I prestige once, I go up 17% after prestiging and there's multiple levels you can get. So dude, you can become overpowered with these upgrades. And I've got to achieve them. And for a very long time, I thought that my hope was all lost because the very last rank that you need costs that much. That's a lot of numbers. $663 billion, which is more money than I think there is on earth. And I want to do that today because I'm, I don't know, small brain? <laughs> because I have $1 billion. That's a lot of money. I haven't ranked up very far yet, so let me do some maths. I'm going to mine for 15 minutes so I can find out how much I'd make in an hour of straight up just mining. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. All right, the speed run begins. <laughs> Time! You see in chat where it's saying my sale summary? It says a multiplier. Right now, I'm at 3.15. That's the number we want to make it go up. Because if that number goes up, I make a hell of a lot more money. So after doing the maths, that works out to I am making 7.2 billion E tokens an hour. Whoa, baby, let's go. You know what that means? To get to that top rank, it's only going to take me 100 hours. That's a really long YouTube video. I don't want to mine for that long, but it's fine. I haven't factored in for a few things here. There's a secret up my sleeve. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have a couple ideas. First of all, I usually end up recording my videos really late, but it's actually a normal time in the day for once, which means I can take advantage of the fact that this server usually has about 6,000 people on it. I will exploit them all. Idea one. Basically, doing all that math doesn't really work because every time you rank up, bam, look at that, my multiplier actually goes up a little bit and the actual blocks are worth more money when they get sold. So it doesn't apply for that. If I was just gonna sit at that last rank and just make money all day, it would have taken me a hundred hours. But while I'm doing this, it will go exponentially faster. And it doesn't actually track that I spend my money on anything good anyway. So that's no upgrades to my pickaxe, which I've got to upgrade because I've maxed out Demo Squad, my personal favorite. Cluster Bombs are close second. I haven't even upgraded a lot of Cell Multi. There's another 5,000 levels to go on this boy. A billion dollars? Okay, you know what? I'll do that now. That's a good idea. That's going to make my multiplier go up again. Bam. And now my multiplier is... 3.67. Okay, that was a worthwhile upgrade. Idea number two. My pickaxe has got to go up. I have inside intelligence on what are the people that actually have prestiged a lot have upgraded. How did I get that, you may ask? Show me your best pickaxes. Highest rank guy. Huh. Interesting. I've got to get about 5,000 levels of explosive and definitely max out my cluster bomb and maybe prosperity as well. Another 3,000 levels of cluster bomb is going to be $3.8 billion. That's a bit of a hit. And prosperity is also really, really good, but costs $7.5 billion. And then explosive is 11 for... for oh. It's not an unobtainable amount. I can do that. And because of my upgrades, I can probably get the tokens for that explosive upgrade probably within an hour. I could do that. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. If I spend money on it now, 2,000 levels of it, if I have 2,000 levels of explosive, then in theory, I can just make more money. Oh my god, yeah, that works. I'm also really interested to see what I make an hour now. After I've got much higher of a multiplier and a new 2,000 level upgrade, let's do it. I don't 
never doing that again. That sucked. But Finn, you don't even have 11 billion. What do you mean you spent an hour? I've been upgrading, buddy. It did go a bit faster than what I thought. So I actually did manage to do this in around an hour. It probably should have been more by my estimations, but I discounted one thing. Cluster bomb only happens every two and a half minutes. And I estimated how much money I make based on one minute of it going off, which is inaccurate. It's like half as much on some as it is others. I made around 10 billion in that hour, which is much better than 7 billion. The benefit was pretty good. Hey, I I'm really close though. I only need 200 million more. Oh, dude, come on, baby. I've got a few glitch grenades. Someone threw me. I'm gonna... Oh, that's gonna do it. Hey, boys, bring me that explosion. Four billion dollars. We're almost there. There it is. Okay, I should be able to afford it now. Bam. There it is. There it is. I gotta upgrade cluster bomb next, but eh, not now. Because... You want to learn how to do that? I think this video is one of the biggest accomplishments I've ever made in this series. I used every trick that I know about the server to do it, which means now you will know every trick that I know. <laughs> I keep getting your comments, your little jokes, asking what's the IP to the server, Finn? Even though you know it's mchub.com and I've told you a billion times, you'll never learn the gamer moves if you keep asking about what the server IP is. It is mchub.com you should join today. My voice is going because I'm recording this after the video finished. It is 5 a.m. Huh? Idea number three? Three. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, baby. Look at him go. So I am stupid, apparently. There has been a whole map that has gone by, and I've thought that they've nerfed the drills. So this has $500 million. Wow. No, that took over 24 hours for it to get. Ha! <laughs> I was mistaken. For the last two maps, I've just been being dumb. There's a mining sector. It's a whole class of upgrades because when you go in here, nope, not there. When you go see this dude, you can go to your upgrade section and upgrade robots. And I thought, cool, but robots don't make that much and these enchants are kind of expensive. But I want to show you something. I found out. The drill, the numbers have changed. In fact, by 25%. Ha! The robot, again, don't get me wrong. When I type robots, it says robots. No Nowhere on this panel, your global robot upgrades, it doesn't say the word drill anywhere. Even on the upgrade, it says miners luck, fortune on all of your robots. That dude is not a robot, but it still upgrades it. Why was I not told this? Ugh. But that's really good for me because it means to upgrade that guy more than I've upgraded, it's going to cost literally like a million beacons or more. No, I can upgrade it and go one, two. Can't afford the next one. Can someone give me... 4k beacons, please. No, no. Okay, no one's giving me beacons. Warp PVE. T mine TP fenster. Easy. Boop. That's double right there. Over like 40,000 beacons. And then, hey, buddy, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, you've doubled. What the fuck? I didn't know you could do that. It would take me a lot of beacons to upgrade another four levels of that. But to upgrade five levels of one of the upgrades here, it would cost me over 100,000. So, yeah, and that is not going to double the output. But that's not the only thing that makes it go up. The insane advantage I have with a bedrock drill is that it's a bedrock drill. Barely any one has one of these things. Some people have like 20, but I have one, which is more than the average player. And they're really good, but I am only level 500. They go up depending on your rank. Every day makes 928 million. Remember that. And let's rank up next. To a new block. Lovely. Now it's 946. It's small, but I only went up a couple levels, but it does go up, which is pretty neat. Also robots go up with that as well. So now my bedrock robot gets me $300 million a day, which is not the worst. Every day I make a billion dollars with this guy. So that's only going to take me two years. Mining is still very much the best way. I reckon we've got that number down to about 50 hours of mining to get to this top level. It's still way too much. Idea number four. <laughs> it's my personal theory that at ranks like level 500 and 1000, like cool big rank upgrades, the server knows that and they want to give you a sense of achievement. So I think stuff bigger happens at around 1000. If I can get to rank 1000, I think that's going to be able to buff the drill a lot. And my next two ideas link into each other. I have to raise funds. I'm gonna need a lot of money to accomplish my goals here. The first way I could try and do this is mine. That's garbage. No, make other people mine for me. Oh yeah, baby. Because if I can get other people to mine for me, then I can move on to idea number five. 
You gotta be on my level. I'm gonna speed run a bunch of different points here and you gotta be able to keep up, okay? It's gonna require a big brain to keep up with what I'm saying here. One of the most overlooked machines are quarries. It resets your mine rank, E tokens, all of your enchants on your pick, but you know what it doesn't do? It doesn't reset how many levels you've got on all of this stuff. Before I prestige, I'm gonna need to upgrade the quarry because quarries are gonna maintain their level throughout the entire time. If I buy 10,000 levels of this, it's gonna be 10,000 levels of that while I'm level zero after prestiging. That is insanely powerful. Right now, I've actually got a decent amount of upgrades. Efficiency. Oh my god, I can max out efficiency right now. Hold on. Bonk. But the rest of the stuff is buyable. But to raise funds to get myself up to level 1,000 and to upgrade my quarry a ton, this is where big brain plays need to go in. So, I have a bunch of keys in my inventory. I also have a decent enough way to get beacons. And other people really don't want to have to get beacons themselves. I know I don't. But I at least have some form of currency to trade someone. And if I can find players that have a maxed out pick. They got all the enchants. They got all the buffs. They got everything. I can give them access to mine on my mine. Open up a pea shop. Sell my items back to them with a tax on them and make money that way. The only problem is I need to convince players to actually spend time on that, which is going to be a bit difficult to do. So I'm going to take a bit of time. It shouldn't take too long. I also have 20 coins. That's loads. Maybe I need to get some coins. I'm gonna get some coins. Okay, you know what? It's been a long time since I've wasted, I mean, spent money on the server. Um, <laughs> but I really want to get ahead. And I think this is the perfect strategy to make my coins go really, really far. Bonk. I reckon that's gonna be a pretty good way to convince top players to work for me. Hell yeah. Time to assemble my team. My team is small. <laughs> But he was the first one to reply. He's a YouTuber, so I've got to be quick. YouTubers, they're a, they're a sketchy breed. I offered him 150 coins to mine here. So over the course of an hour, me and him are going to be mining. He is level 2000 with the most crazy pickaxe I've ever seen on wow. the server. And he's already prestiged once. He's like me, but in an alternate reality where I'm talented. 20 minutes later. Oh, well, that worked. You've made 64 million blocks this minute just from doing nothing. Nice. Keep doing your thing. Alexa, start a timer for half an hour. Alexa. Sir, do you mind shutting the f*** up? <laughs> you know what I could do instead? I could keep it steady and just straight up upgrade the quarry as much as I can. I already put a thousand levels on this. Jesus. Okay, let's put a quick thousand levels onto lightning so I don't go completely bankrupt. Okay, I'm gonna work on putting a thousand levels onto basically everything. I've got Royal here for the next half an hour. I've got 2,200 coins left. That is a lot of time I can buy from people. Check your gifts. I sent you 84k beacons. Dude, on Skyblock, people gift me so much cool stuff on here, dude. My gifts are- look at this. No one gives me good stuff besides this guy for some reason. Oh, wait, what are you? <gasps> oh, I was wrong. Wait, that makes a hundred fortune. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. I've maxed out my quarry. I buy another thousand levels of this thing. Nice. Can I buy a thousand levels of you too? Yes, I can easily. Why do I even ask? This will be how I get rich. I'm going to get up to a thousand levels with this. I'm going to upgrade everything. I make more money while I'm mining while someone else is here. I don't know why. I don't know how. Oh my God. Okay. Peace shop. Sell you. Can I rank up next? There it is! Alright, I've got to start selling you now for 291, 291. Lovely. We went from this block here from the start of the video that sells for 2.4 per one, and the newest one now sells for 3.2. You know what? I'm gonna update you as things go on. Goodbye, I'll see you in probably five minutes while I become a trillionaire. I don't know. Give me a minute. <laughs> Bye! Five minutes later. Well, I stacked up a ton. I've got enough to <laughs> I've got enough to finally max out cluster bomb. I asked Royal what I should get. He immediately said max out cluster. Bomb. You gotta max out cluster bomb, dude. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I worked out that if I mine, I'm making almost enough to match Royal's cell value. Well, my cluster bomb went off. Um, <laughs> I was trying to get it on video. Um, that cluster bomb is now making me about 90 million dollars every time it goes off. My God. Okay. Yeah, that's why it was worth maxing out. Okay, got it. But now I reckon it's just about slowly upgrading them and ranking up. I can do that in about five million. That's gonna be easy. Okay, cluster bomb's gonna go off in like 10 seconds. Let's see how much it makes. Boom. <laughs> 73 million. It hasn't even gone off all the way. And another 96. And another 20. Did he just nuke the mine? I don't know what happened, but now I've ranked up. That Bomberman enchant just made me $200 million. The mine is physically getting bigger. The effects of everything, it's getting bigger as well. So the blocks are getting more expensive. The multiplier is going up and the enchants are doing more. That is absolutely insane.
Alexa, shut up. Oh, dude. Okay, Royal's free to go. I'm gonna see if I can not tell him about it for a while. <laughs> The timer went off. He's agreed to do another half an hour. This was way more profitable than I thought. You know what? I'll do coins withdraw 160. Again, because I'm very nice. Royal, I've got another charitable donation for you as payment for the next half an hour. Yeah, yeah. You're getting a raise. <laughs> <to the funny laughs> All right, have fun. Also, look what I figured out. I think I can get a hell of a lot more because I, for some reason, it just let me not set a price on orange terracotta. And I've got 25 million blocks in there that I didn't pay a thing for. I was wondering why I wasn't going down so much money. It's at one third of the blocks I'm getting for free. I have got all of the blocks I have not sold in a while now. And there's 79 million in one, 94 in another, 113 in another. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a cool billion dollars real quick. Nice. Can actually afford the next one as well. Rank up next. I want to see if I set that to that, is that going to actually go up? Because then at this point, now I'm not paying for anything. It's going up. It's sold just right now. I'm not losing any. I'm getting all this for free. What oh, the hell? Oh. Okay. I, listen, Royal, you can negotiate for a raise if you'd like. <laughs> I'll withdraw another 50 coins just for this. I think you broke the server. I did. I'm real proud of myself. <laughs> this is so broken. My multiplier is now 3.85. I am going to be so rich. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can find someone with a really good pick. I have an opportunity for you. I'll pay you 100 coins to mine for me for an hour. Wait, no. 150 coins because I'm going to take advantage of this glitch that I found. There he is. There he is. Okay. This is his pickaxe. It's on par with Royals. I'm going to give him that 150 coins. Look at that. I'm not going down any amount of money. And I think I'm still going up. Look at that. 24 million, 30 million. Look how much money I just made for free. Bam. 300 million coins, dude. In the last, what, five minutes? Oh my God. This is so perfect. Holy sh**. Okay. You know what? I'm going to pivot my focus. Instead of ranking up a bunch, I'm going to upgrade my quarry because that stays normal throughout prestigious, right? Yeah. That does not reset at all. That's what I'm going to upgrade next then. I'll check back in in a minute. So it turns out having me, Royal, and this other guy all mining at the same time where I'm making mostly profit, it's absolutely nuts. I want to rank up, but I might actually make less money if I rank up. So I've stacked all my money up. I'm going to upgrade a few things on my pick and on the quarry. So Royal recommended I at least get some level of invasion, which is definitely a great idea. I'm going to put one, two, three. There you go. 3,000. You're not screwed. Four. 5,000 on invasion. It's amazing. Shadow clones I'm also going to get. I'll put a, a few hundred levels on uh, shadow clones. 200's fine. That's so low. And then the rest of it, I'm going to upgrade these on the quarry. All those bottom rows at 2,000. I can get 1,000. Okay. I think I've figured out how it works. Lightning's the really good one then, I'm assuming, because that's the most expensive one by far. Let's get it up to 5,000. Upgrade tornado a bunch. You know what? Screw it. Let's get that all. That's up to 4K. Let's get this up to 2. And let's get this bottom row up to 3. Getting really hard to keep up with the amount of money I'm making, man. Idea number... Eight, I don't know. Basically, it's looking like I'm gonna be out of prestige. I'm making so much money. In the prestige shop, after talking to Royal, I didn't even realize, but I also get a buff from the automation perk. Because I've got Poseidon, Cell Frenzy, and Automation are both very good ideas. Because look, if I do this, I get a massive buff on my quarry, which stays around throughout prestiges. This is truly the late game option. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put two levels onto that and one for Cell Frenzy. I've still got another half an hour on the clock here and uh, I'm gonna make the most out of it. So I'm thinking the next thing that I do is get a few billion together, then spam rank up. I do have one theory. I'm gonna test to see if this is true. My theory is that if I've got one of them that is normal, then the next one is gonna be glitched. I'm immediately gonna find out if that's true. There it is, it sells. I think that's the easiest money I've ever made. Finn, you got yourself six billion dollars. How impressive. No, I did not. Would you like to know how much I really did get? Would you? I haven't sold a single block. What? The mine's blue. Let's look at the blue block, shall we? Oh yeah, baby. Uh, uh. <laughs> So, I have no idea why this one didn't get much, but this one got almost a billion. Let's sell all of that. Bam. Oh, what that's going to let me do is absolutely spam this button. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Multiplier 4.15. Rank 1,000 with still $14 billion to spare, buddy. This quarry machine is nutty. I think that 200 million was mainly from the quarry. Quick idea. You know what's probably a great plan? How much is it for 50 million extra capacity? Oh, 3 billion? Oh, dude, I'll take it. You know what that does? That sets my capacity at 100 million, which means I can do this and actually get all of it. 
in a big mine with a really big multiplier. Dude, that's like $2 billion that I make. I'm gonna prestige today and I'm gonna do it in big boy mode. Invasion, I'm gonna level that up as well. And it's 7.5 billion, I'm gonna go for that. Shadow clones are so damn expensive. 100 levels on that and then another 100. All of those are the big earners that only come in every now and then. And by the way, with Beacon Obliterator now, I am getting more than the Earth Splitter. 185,000 per one. That's pretty sick. Okay, on to more grind. <laughs> Idea nine. I've worked out that every 10 minutes I can complete completely max out one of these enchants. I'm gonna do that. This, this sounds like a really good idea, actually. Lightning, done. Tornado, the hardest one to get. Boom. Hail, we're getting easier. Just gonna remember that. Oh my God. Bam. Acid rain, boom. Laser, bam. Explosive, boom. <laughs> oh, I even have enough to do jackhammer as well. Boom. Whew. I know that just looked like about five seconds for you, but that took me so goddamn long. All along the process to get me to level 2000, baby. I'm gonna prestige. Five minutes later. 20 minutes later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Oh, that feels better. We've been in the ugly stage of blocks for a long time now. Oh my god, everything's so ugly, dude. I was planning on doing more of that little montage thing. There's a reason why I stopped. At some point during that way, it stopped becoming like a few billion. The last few have been like 20 billion dollars. Yeah, that's reasonable. Remember how I said I started this video at a normal time? Yeah, it's 2 a.m. already. So it's time to bring in the A team. <laughs> there they are, my crack team of professionals. Professional gamers. Hello. 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 I'm so proud what of them. What is this? They have basic enchants. Like, they've got really high explosive, but good lord, man. They ain't great. <laughs> Okay, while they're doing that, I've got a different thing. I've been working on this idea, this strategy for a minute now. If I spawn an NPC shop guy, hey buddy, I believe I can create a shop for myself. I've got 70,000 beacons. And the thing is, it's really hard getting deals from people. So if I add a nuke to a shop, I can open up the ability for people to sell me nukes. There, buy price, 1,000. There, oh, perfect. Okay, cool. So the next thing I need to do is just find different uh, napalm grenades. That's not a bad deal, actually. I want to buy this one for a uh, 250. So now I'm buying nukes, napalms, glitched, and thermite grenades. Sweet. I have a grenade. NPC shop. Sold 32 napalm grenades. And a thermite grenade. And a napalm grenade. And 60 napalm grenades. I'm gonna lose all my money. Hey, have you ever wanted to become one of those army planes that spits out those fireworks? I always have. <laughs> okay, literally, the biggest bottleneck right now is how long it takes to even sell this stuff. So I'm gonna really quickly just upgrade auto sell by a metric ton. That's pretty solid. This is gonna take so insanely long. New rank. Yeah. New rank. Oh yeah. New rank. Ugh. Gross. New rank. So anyway, because I've been ranking up the entire time, my maths was up. I could make a hell of a lot more. Wait, Omni Tool Rename. I've actually never done this. You know what? This is going to be the first pickaxe that's taken me to the top of the ranks. The ultimate pickifier. It's a reference to a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> a billion points if you know what the hell I'm on about. I will pin your comment, I swear to God. But anyway, rank up, rank up, rank up again. And I think that's probably gonna be the last one I can do quickly. And you know what? I've put a massive dent in that. I've never been this far up the ranks, so I've never discovered this before, but there's some positives and negatives to being this far up. A positive is I'm suddenly making a ludicrous amount of money. The con side of it is that your progression, it's way slower. I've got to go up only 140 levels, but that 140 levels is equal to 200 billion dollars. I am desperately clawing for the prestige, and I know this sounds stupid. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go with my power. Because think about it like this, right? This one. I get a buff on a few things, but it's 18%. But those things that I get a buff on are passive. And passive is never the fastest way of making money. Self frenzy. Good for active money making, but with all three prestige levels that I'm gonna get, I'm only gonna go up point. 
five South Alliot. But with three prestige tokens on mining power, 25% per one, that's higher than the booster for Poseidon. I can go up 75%. Also, I, I've been told that I'm being stupid and I haven't even prestiged my pickaxe even though I'm level 18 after all this mining. Look, I can prestige three times. That gets me an extra 15% enchant power. With those prestiges, that would double my enchants for free in the early game too. That is nuts. Okay, dude, I was stacking up a bunch of money. I was going to try and prestige all at once, but look at this guy in chat. 70 billion e-token coin flip. I've got 73 billion. I can, I can actually afford to do this. Imagine. Imagine if I won. If I lost, I'm going to be pissed. I'm gonna jump off a roof. Uh, rank up. Oh, okay. I know that doesn't look like a big deal to you, but look, this is the steps of the last rank. It goes through these like ore stages. It looks so cool. Rank up. 1,900. Holy shit. Uh, rank up. Oh, but it's getting cool. Oh, we're getting so close. Uh, rank up. Oh my god. This is the absolute final stretch. Ooh. And bop. All right, you know what? I got five nukes, may as well use them. We're on the last stretch, dude. There's emeralds in the mine. There she is. That's gotta be it, dude. $33 million. Oh my God. Rank up next. Boom. Obsidian. Oh my god, it's beautiful. The chat's full of GG's. Okay, final stages. That's a couple things to do. Let's make sure all of this stuff fully upgraded. Yep. A tip that they gave me in chat is to do slash disenchant. I know this seems weird, but if I disenchant the whole thing, I get 25% of everything back. I get a ton of e-tokens back, which again, it seems dumb, but it's not. All gone. I've got my e-tokens back. My pickaxe is so bad. Look at that. And what you do now is put as much much as you can onto your backpack. The thing that's not going to reset is your backpack enchants, so upgrading this is actually worthwhile. I'm going to put 100% of it onto capacity. Do I have enough to add 100 million? I do! 100 million onto capacity! Yeah, why not? My capacity's now doubled. Oh my god, I'll just spam the rest of it onto auto sell just for fun. And now, I can finally prestige! There it is. Enter prestige mode. Reset your rank and balance in exchange for increase in prestige. Bam! So I'm going to continue on with 20 million million on capacity. That's still cracked. Let's do it. Prestige now. Boop, boop. Congratulations to Finster for reaching Prestige 1. Yes. Oh, that's so anticlimactic. GG. I'm say GG. Let's go. And I'm back to making nothing. Good lord. Let's just quickly collect 600,000 and just immediately rank up out of this mess. Oh my god. It's like day one again. No, this is hell. So now what I can do is I can add these. What the hell is that? Prestige times. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wait. It already gave me a buff. I already go up in Cell Multiplayer, Omni Tool XP, but my rank cost is higher. Oh, shit. Okay, Prestige Shop. I've got three tokens. I think it's all got to go into mining power, dude. That's the best way to do it. It costs two prestige tokens. Oh my god. I am gonna put it on this one then. Automation. But because right now the quarry is actually making more money than I could even possibly hope to imagine. Dude. Okay, boys, we did it. We're back to the start again. Just what everyone always wants. Anyway, I'm sorry this video is so long. Hopefully you liked the cool intro we did. If you enjoyed this video, I will see you on the next stage of my adventure later. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Join us ever. Peace.